what we're going to do is we're going to have a little practice and look at each bit separately. So let's just look at the A section. I've done some play along tracks. I've done two tempos. So I've got one a bit slower and it just loops around the A section. Okay. Now, <clears throat> there's a few things we can do here. <clears throat> First of all, essentially, we're just in D minor. So you could play D minor over that whole of those eight bars. Okay. If you don't have to play every chord tone of every chord because it's moving past pretty quickly. And what we've got is a fairly well established key center of D. We're hearing D minor. Okay. So long as you're playing in D minor, what's going on underneath you is kind of shifting. This is what I've talked about before the shifting sands. So where you, where you play one note, it's going to resolve, you know, it might be tense on that chord, but it resolve on the next chord. And we're only just going backwards and forwards between these two chords. Just going five one. Okay, so anything you play in D minor is going to work. So you could play your D blue scale over all of that. But I mean, that that would work might sound great. But it wouldn't sound much like you're in in Tunisia. <laughs> so <laughs> So I think perhaps, you know, let's not do blue scale today. And this is where we can start to look at our uh, developing a bit of bebop language. OK, so let's go back to the warm ups where we played our chromatic approach notes. So I very deliberately gave this to you in the same key. So if 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 you look at our, our chromatic approach notes exercises, we're in D minor. Yeah. So, and this is where that kind of bebop language comes from. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let's just have a little practice with the track. So we're just going to loop the A section, a nice slower tempo. And I want you to take one of those exercises. And this time, instead of just playing it straight eights, try and, try and improvise with the rhythm. Okay. And see if you can just invert those things. Just mess about with that basic idea. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm <coughs> sorry. I might just grab a glass of water while we're doing this. OK, so what we're going to do, we're going to go around the A section and I just want you to mess about with D minor triad. I'm talking concert uh, with with putting some approach notes in just a semitone below each chord tone. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, tw